All right, so today we have another Link Mini PC, this time a generation Intel at 3.8 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of memory, M2, 512, Wi-Fi 6, and the Bluetooth 5.0. No, much more, we can also upgrade this and try to do all those things right now. How are we doing everyone? My name is Dario from MediaBoxCNT.com Now the computer is getting small and more powerful Not only you save the space right on your desk Right, but we can do many things with it To me, especially you can run servers on this An FP, FTP server If you want to run like Cordy Play it on a Plex, right? So you can now play movies all around the house With the mini computer also you can run emulator i don't see any problem you can run even emulator playstation 2 and one of these things all right so you just plug it right and back in computer run all the emulators you want so this that's what is great about this and besides safe space and if you plan into run like servers you know put this somewhere in the closet and that's it connect this using i don't know like the uh, team viewer like again check your server and say oh Put all your movies there guys i'm going to show you how to upgrade how we can change the memory how we can put more hard drive space right into this unit right now all right so let's see what we get the four core eight generation intel i5 8259u so like a 3.8 gigahertz and uh, 16 gigabytes of ram and 512 mv me so let's see what we get nice so if you need help that's with the information there and with the local box and the instructions have to mount the hard drive or even how to replace the memory i'm going to show you guys how to do that how we're going to install that 2.5 uh, drive and how you can replace it all the instructions pretty simple let's take a look at the accessories we get there everything is packed real nice and what we have here let's take all that stuff out first transformer there pick all the things out all right so first we got in a small hdmi cable right if that if you're going to connect in the back of the of youtube manual i think that's what it's for with that you're going to be mounted on the um, base up and the screws to mount your hard drive even the piece of drive that's to connect it right in the back of your uh, display and that's a long hdmi cable now the transformer right 110 240 and the adapters right for your 2.5 drive internal drive i'm going to show you how to replace it because actually with two i think it's one extra one in the little adapter to install the 2.5 drive so we take a look at the box it has a nice nice uh, design as you see here we look at right in the side we can see a uh, two USB 3.0. We see Type C. We see the power on headphones, even to clean the CMOS. Run the back to HDMI output, USB 3.0, IJ45, and as well the power. And that's for your micro SD card. All right, so what I'm going to do now, we're going to open the box so I can show you inside and how to install more memory, replace the memory, or be able to install a 2.5 and internal drive so we're going to remove all the screws let's take the cover and voila pretty simple as you see here now we see the memory so we had two modules one thing you can do here is a 16 so is each module is a gigabyte so you can install there if you want two 16 gigabytes so you get 32 if you want to put another let's say another 16 and leave that 8 over there so you get 24 i will make sure you get the same part number or the same manufacturer so you don't get any type of problem with your windows i would think this way sometimes it's just cut and replace that and we see the m2 there that's for 112 for your windows you can replace that and let's say go to a one terabyte but if you do that then you're going to have to and restore all windows by itself or maybe you want to create a backup but i will not do that maybe just leave that 512 is pretty big because size what we can do is install an external an internal drive uh, uh 
five and that's what we're going to do right now i'm going to show you how it has been done all right so for the test look at this so the stay dry 2.5 this is like an old dry 2.5 yep and that's the way you're going to be mounted yeah this is 128 gigabytes so real drive so that's what we're going to mount it so we need to put that little adapter all right so that's power and the SATA connection all right so the, what i have to do now is use see that little connector there so use that pull that little it has like a level a level so clean that up and then they slide that and then you push it down okay there's only one way to put it in so pay attention to that then you push it down in the same way you're going to do that bring the little top up all right spread the little up up push it down all right and that's the only thing you have to do then just mount it around the cover all right close it up and then your window is going to detect it maybe you have the format that i show you right there so now we can put the cover back and let's go this way i think it's called let's see yeah it's gonna go that way the two screws you see around the back that will be for you connect if you want to connect the rod and the back of your display so let's close the box and let's power our windows all right so we're ready to power it up the box i hook up everything it has a nice uh, indication on the power a good uh, white light there all right so we are ready now to go into windows all right so soon you start you get the welcome screen because it's the pre-install of windows 10 so you have to select your language and it's all self-explanatory only takes about a few minutes after you proceed with all this then you will have to go and do the an update you know select your you want to connect to wi-fi or you want to connect to this uh hardwire and then like always an update for window that that, that takes a while we can do that leave it some time do that overnight or no matter what update all right we just jump in and cut that part because it's, it's only ask you a few questions about 10 minutes so and we are right on the main uh my screen let's quick that because that's the first thing you get and let's take a look actually hardware here it starts pretty fast as you see there everything no delay and we see here yes the 512 remember the always system take time for boot up and not always by 12 they always reset some of the blocks as well too let's grow property properties there let's check the memory right and we see the 16 gigabytes there the cpu what is clocking right now you can always overclock the system and you can see it's a fresh user also uh, with the machine and it's clock right now at uh, 230. you can always go on the bias and let's reset and let's go straight to the bias all right so we are into the bias i'm pretty sure uh, just a small recap you guys can see i like it because there's a lot of things you can change there's a lot of these boxes they're not allow you to change the body like they have like a simple or um, like the simple version of the device and for me yeah i mean, i'm lucky to go out and turn off stuff that i really don't want or how the machine is being booted up or can i overclock my cpu can i change the memory can i change you know what type of is support if i want you know my change my cpu configuration if i install any drive so as you see here i, I give you just a small preview so you guys can see that this box allow you to make a lot of changes just like any other like any other pc because before i did work with these small boxes and it just it was just real basic information what you can change on the bias all right so as you see it's pretty simple to set up like any other uh, window right and pro the information there and i say it's fast guys um to get one of this uh mini pc I'll leave you the link right below this video and see you next time with another great mini PC. Bye.